Okay, I'm going to really quickly show you how to install RetroArch so you can play the Virtual Boy emulated and actually get to play Virtual Boy Wario. So download the stable version, go to the download tab under RetroArch website, there's the URL there. Uh, download the stable version, install that, okay, then load RetroArch. You want to go to online updater, okay, because you need to get the core first. So basically the emulator itself and install it on RetroArch. And you're going to keep scrolling down till you get to Nintendo. Scroll, 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 scroll. And I think it's one of the very, very last ones. There it is. Nintendo Virtual Boy, and it's called Beetle VB. So left click, uh, left click that and install that. Okay, when it's installed, you want to go to load core and then load it. And then you want to load your content. So there's the, my ROM sitting there, going to load that. And there's one other thing to check for. So what you want to do is before you start the game, go to command and go to menu toggle and scroll down in the quick menu and you want to go to options first. Now, the 3D mode has to be defined for the Virtual Boy. So in this case, I have mine set to any at lift, okay? And that works on a 2D, 2D panel. And you can also mess around with the palette. Now, you can have that default black and red that you get with the actual Virtual Boy, or you can try variations of different colors. Some of them make it look like the actual uh, original Game Boy, for argument's sake. But I left it as the black and red for the recording of this footage. Then you go back to Command, and you go to Menu Toggle again. Okay, there's one other thing you need to do. You need to go to Port Controls. You go to Port Controls 1. By default, you will see the device type will be RetroPad with just RetroPad. You need to switch it to RetroPad with analog so you can actually move um, Wario because I think there was weird controls in the Virtual Boy. So you need to make sure that you have the device type set to RetroPad with analog and everything else can stay as default. It'll be fine. Uh, then go back and close out of your menu toggle and away you go.